Now, this costume that this lady is wearing is called Maria Clara. It is a costume inspired from Spain. As you know, Philippines was under the Spanish colonization for 300 years. That's a long time. And this little gentleman here is wearing barong. Barong is made of a banana fiber called husi or a pineapple fiber called piña, as you can see. And she's wearing what we call kimona and saya. Right now, a lot of Filipinos are wearing this kind of costumes. It's still being worn every day, especially in the provinces. Now, our next costume is like your costume. Tell us about your costume. My costume is called the butterfly sleeve. Butterfly sleeves. And yours is actually called terno because it's like a formal, formal dress. Now let's talk about these two dolls. This costume is called Balintawak and it has like Thelma is wearing right now. And they have two, two hats, of course, two ladies and two hats. They wear hats because it is so hot in the Philippines, especially in the fields. This is called the mountain women. Do you know why they have the sticks? To climb up the hills? Yeah, and they are called igorota. And see, she puts all her stuff in the basket. Next costume is the Muslim costume. They're very, very colorful. She's wearing, oops, called a malong. We have some Muslims, especially in Mindanao, in the southern part of the Philippines. And the last set of dolls, these are called the Metro Manila Aid. Well, these are the costumes from the Philippines. There are a lot of costumes in the Philippines, but we don't have the dolls for them. So we'll see you later.